Pi-hole is a network-wide ad-blocking application that acts as a DNS sinkhole. It was originally designed for the Raspberry Pi hardware, hence the name, but it can be used on any Linux-based system or even in a Docker container. Pi-hole works by intercepting DNS requests, the process by which domain names are translated into IP addresses, from devices on your network. When a device tries to connect to a domain that's known to serve ads, Pi-hole prevents that connection, effectively blocking the ad. In addition to ad blocking, Pi-hole provides network-level blocking for malware, tracking, and other unwanted content. It also offers a web-based interface for monitoring and control, and it has support for blacklists and whitelists so you can customize what gets blocked. Pi-hole can help speed up your internet browsing experience since it prevents unwanted content from being downloaded. It also provides a level of privacy, as it prevents ad networks from tracking your browsing habits. It's important to note that Pi-hole is a technical solution that requires some level of networking knowledge to set up and maintain. Also, while it can block many ads, it's not guaranteed to block all of them, particularly those that are served from the same domain as the content you're viewing. Finally, some websites may not function correctly when their ads are blocked. So let's start the Pi-hole install process. I'll install Pi-hole in my virtual environment Proxmox so now so I will create an Ubuntu container here, you can install directly on Ubuntu if you want. Here you will give your container a name and password. From the storage location you will select the OS for your container. From here, select the amount of space you want to select for your Pi-hole OS. In my case I have not increased any space here, because I think this space is enough. Here I think one core processor is enough for this operating system. This OS doesn't need much RAM, I think, so I put 512 here, you can increase it if you need. Of course this system requires static IP, since my router runs on static routing, I put an IP here from my router, however, if your router use DHCP routing, then the IP you enter here must be reserved from the router, so that no other device can access the IP. There is no need to provide any DNS here, proceed directly from here to finish. Wait here for a while for the whole system to build up then, here it may take some time so wait. Now we will go directly to the newly created operating system console panel. Here you need to log in to the created Ubuntu system, you need to enter user id and password here to log in, here the user id will be root and the password will be the one you created yourself. After login you need to update the system, I have written on the screen the information to be entered for updating, this will require quite a bit of time as the read-only memory is reduced here, if you keep a lot of read-only memory for your system, then you won't need much time here, but I think running such a system doesn't require a lot of read-only memory, but for that you need some good internet connection here with good speed, because here the system is updated after downloading files from internet, so good internet connection is important here. Otherwise your update may take a while longer. After agreeing yes here the installation updates will start and in that case it will take some time so I am just fast forwarding here so that it takes less time. So wait patiently here. Here is another installation comment that I wrote on the screen. Now we will go directly to Pi-Hall official web page and see their installation commands from there. In that case, you can find the official web page with the help of Google. I have tried to write it here on the screen then if you want you can find it on Google very easily. Click on the place shown by me inside the website to start the Pi-Hall installation process. In that case a page of GitHub website will open, and there you will get the installation comment if you scroll down a bit. 
The installation command is short and very simple copy the installation command from there and from there you will come to Ubuntu console panel and come there and paste and enter then the final step of the Pi hole installation will begin. It shouldn't take much time here as soon as the file is extracted the main task of your installation will begin there you need to cooperate with some information during installation. Here some questions will be asked and if you follow the steps you will be done. Here you have to press enter for OK. Here you will be asked, is the IP you used a static IP? If it is not a static IP then reserve it from your router. In that case you will click on continue. To do this you need to use tab button. Here you will be asked what type of DNS you have used with the main router of your internet connection. Here you will be given few choices and from there you have to select which DNS you are using. In the next step you have to select the yes indicator. Next you will be asked if you want Pi Hall admin web interface. In that case you must select yes because without it you will not be able to control your DNS server. Then admin panel will ask you for permission for all necessary installation. You must select yes option here. You will then be asked if you want to see all log entries of your DNS server. You should definitely select yes because you should see what is using it from your server. This will let you know if there are any children in your home. You can block any website you they are visiting if that harmful. Now the main installation process will start so it will take some time. So I have speeded up that time here. We need to access the main control panel with this IP and password. So let's go to the main control panel now. Although I have shown you the main control panel in the beginning of the video. So you can see here that I have successfully logged into this control panel. So far we have successfully completed the installation. If you follow all the steps in my view correctly then you will be able to install it correctly like I did. Next I will try to show it using several module inside. Since it's just installed, it hasn't started all the operations yet. So after installing it should give some time for all the activities to start. I will use this DNS server IP with my laptop and see it works successfully or not. I will connect my laptop through a remote desktop and then I will change the IP of the DNS server and test it works or not. Then you need to reactivate the system through the update gravity from the control panel of Pi Hall DNS server. Then I'll try to see if any DNS server logs come from the laptop's IP. Hopefully you can see that the Pi-hole DNS server is starting to get various logs. Now I can be sure that our installation process is done correctly, and it is working properly. I hope to be able to help you with more new information about Pi-hole DNS server in the future. Till then we are specially requested to support our channel and stay with us. Here I am giving the name of a website through which you can easily get the addresses in various block lists for the use of DNS server. TOD I have tried to show you how to complete the installation, in the future I will try to show you how to manage them, as of today, I leave here hoping to see you in the future, God willing.